Okay, here is the graph of the original function, x over the quantity x minus 1. That's the red curve. If I graph the line x plus 4y equals 1, we get this green line, which looks like it's tangent to the curve itself. we got to make sure of that. And I wrote the equation of that line in slope-intercept form. That tells us that the slope of this lines that we're looking for has to be negative 1 fourth which means that the derivative of this function, we want to know when does it equal negative one-fourth. So if we go to the next board, here I am finding the derivative by using the quotient rule. Denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared simplifies to this. And I want to know when does that equal negative one fourth, which is the slope of this first green line here. So here I am solving this equation. I mentally multiplied both sides by negative one and then cross multiplied and got x minus one, the quantity squared equals four. Solve by using the square root property, take the square root of both sides. X minus one has to equal plus or minus two. Solving for x gives us x equals 3 or x equals negative 1. When x is negative 1, y is 0.5, and that was the first point that we stumbled upon. But also, when x is 3 and y is 1.5, we have a line that's parallel to the first green line. What's the equation of this line? Well, using point slope, y minus 1.5, y minus y sub 1 equals the slope. Well, we already know the slope of that green line has to be negative 1 fourth times the quantity x minus 3. So that's the equation of the second line. You can put that in slope intercept form, uh, but I'll leave that to you. There you go. So there's two lines that are tangent to the graph of the original function that are parallel. Actually, this one coincides with the line x plus 4y equals 1. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.